I, as I said here a while ago, I was on a party going to hell. The very minute it come dark, I come alive like a vampire. Nightclubs, discos, house parties, you name it, I've been there. I have tried drugs, I have tried drink, I tried nearly everything on this earth to try and find a fulfillment. But I spent hundreds of thousands of pounds in nightlife in it. I would think nothing of getting on a plane and flying to London to a party. That's the way it was before I was saved. Nightlife in it. I used to tell fortunes in pubs just for to get a crowd of women around me. That's the way it was. And I thank God for the way the Lord had changed me. A younger brother of mine, he went over to England and he put into this gypsy camp. And nearly every person on the camp was born again Christians. And near London he put into this camp. And they got the Bible out and they started opening the Bible and they started reading John chapter 3 that no one will see the kingdom of God unless they're born again. I said, oh, excuse me, he said, we have our own religion. We are Catholics. So the, the pastor said, he said, excuse me, he said, I'm not talking about religion here. I'm talking about Jesus who died on the cross for every person on this earth. So anyway, my brother said, I never heard about this religion before. He thought it was a brand new religion. And he said, you get a Bible, he said, and you look at John chapter 3, and you'll see what Jesus Christ tells you to do. So that evening, my brother went to a bookshop, and he went and he asked the girl, could he have a Bible? And the girl just pointed where the Bibles was, and he picked up every Bible he opened up. There it was, John chapter 3. Jesus teaches Nicodemus. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the miraculous signs that you are doing if God were not with him. In reply, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless the are born again. How can a man be born when he's old, Nicodemus asked. Surely he cannot enter a second time into his mother's womb to be born? Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they're born of water and the spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You can hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it has come from or where it is going. So it is that with everyone born of the Spirit. So in other words, you know that you know that you know that you're born again. So praise God. He still wasn't satisfied. He thought it was a new religion, a new Bible. We never ever had a Bible in our life, in our home. Never had a Bible before I was saved. And then he thought it was a new religion. And it won't be on an old Bible. And the next day he went to a car boot sale and he went to this woman and she was a sister in the Lord, and he started telling her about those men, telling them about Jesus, about he must be born again, and she just put her hands up in the air and started thanking Jesus Christ for the Lord bringing a lost soul to her. But she did not sell Bibles or books, but she left her own car and took my brother right across the field where there was a, a sister or brother selling Bibles and books and other things, and thank God... We even taught by the color of the book to be different scriptures. He picked up a red one and a blue one and a black one and a green one. And he kept going for the worn and the torn ones. He thought it wouldn't be on the old ones. And I think it's either five or six, the way it won't be telling you lie, that he bought. And he took them home and he opened every one of them up and there it was. No one will see the kingdom of God unless they're born again. No one means everyone. You must be born again. So then he, then he thought it won't be on a Catholic Bible. And he decided to go to a priest and ask the priest, is it on our Bible, in other words? And he went to a priest and he asked the priest, is John chapter 3 on a Catholic Bible? And the priest brought it, he more or less had a hard with him, and he brought it out and he opened it up and there it was. John chapter 3, that no one will see the kingdom of God unless they're born from above. Right there, there's only one Bible. One true word of God. One true word of God. So praise God, he accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. There's 18 in our family, 13 boys and 5 girls. And he couldn't wait to get to a foam because the scales was taken from his eyes. And he, he could see out now for the first time in his life. And he knew the danger that the rest of his family's souls was in and he couldn't wait to get to a phone. I was all cleaned up, all designer clothes on me, going out the nightlife on it. I'm just going out the door and the phone rung. And he said, Kevin, he said, I'm a born again Christian. 
Say what? I thought it was the most stupidest word I've ever heard in my life when I heard it first. I started thinking about a woman that I knew that was dead and left a big family of children behind, them, behind her. How can all the children be born again? Then I knew another woman was about eight stone weight and she had sons and daughters 20 yard stones. So I dare want to have a serious problem. I knew another woman about four foot odd and she had a son over six foot. So he's going to have a problem as well. As my brother was telling me down the phone, I started thinking this way. And I was thinking about flesh. But Jesus is talking about the spirit that lives in your body. Each one of our bodies has life in it. Someday the God, God is going to take the life from each one of our bodies. And our bodies is a heap of meat. Goes into the coffin. Goes into the ground. Goes back into dust. An undertaker will tell you that he certainly cannot put you in a coffin alive. If he found out about it, he'd be done for murder. No one can bury you alive. The life is taken from the body. The body goes in the ground. But where do your life go? Where do your life go? Your life is your soul, your spirit, which goes to God to be judged. And that's what Jesus Christ said must be born again. And I was talking about a heap of meat. But now I know that my body is like a car body. Your car is just empty out there. There's no life in it. When you get into your car, there's life in it. Now you're out of the car. Is a car body out there. Someday you'll be taken from your own body. And the soul goes to God to be judged. And God is going to say to you, what did you do for my son Jesus? And what are you going to say? How